This is how you trace particles. First, let's create an emitter from simulate emitter. If you play the animation, you'll see that a bunch of particles are emitted. Now, with the emitter selected, let's choose a tracer. It will be added immediately into the trace link of the tracer. Now, if you play the animation, you'll see that uh, splines are created. But uh, if you want to trim the splines, you can go just go down uh, the tracer and choose from end and give it some frames, like 22. Now if you go back, play the animation, you'll see the splines are trimmed from the end. Now this is a boring animation, so we have to add some forces to the emitter to make the particles uh, uh, rotate, let's say. Select the emitter, go to simulate forces and um, rotation. Now if you play back the animation, you'll see the particles are, are rotating. You can also uh, sweep these splines uh, by making the tracer a child of the sweep object, like so, and giving a profile object like a circle, putting it as a first object of the sweep, uh, in decreasing the size to, let's say, 5. And now you have a, a bunch of particles that are traced and made into splines that are then uh, made into a sweep object.